Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she need her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. What's up? It's your girl, and I'm back at it again with content. Today, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me slash. Um, get to know me q and ask people to ask me questions on Instagram and Those are the questions. I'm going to be answering in this video while doing my makeup or if you didn't know I had a YouTube channel prior to this Yeah, um, I had a YouTube channel and Honestly, I just didn't like the content I was doing Fast forward like a year or two later, I feel finally ready to be back. So I started a whole new page, have a new aesthetic to my page, that new channel banner, new profile picture, new intro, and I'm just excited to be back on this because creativity is my calling. Whether that's makeup or even hair, like I just love creating, just love creating. So content also happens to be one of them. Be reading the questions off my back of phone because per and I actually got a lot of questions. Um, I'm just gonna start with telling you guys the basics. Hi, my name is Sally. I am 17 years old and I am a senior in high school. Right now I'm doing a program in college, Humber College. I'm about to graduate. Um that's just a li little bit about me. I was born on November 25th, 2005. I am a Sagittarius. Some hobbies and interests, I love playing volleyball, I love playing basketball, and I also love um, dancing. I love dancing, coming up with choreo, performing, I love all of that. I'm a very social person, I like being in the social scene and stuff, so yeah. So yeah, I'm about to order makeup organizers from Timu because this ain't it. Like, carrying my makeup in a bag is not it. The first question I was asked is, how did you grow the mindset of focusing on yourself? How did I grow the mindset of focusing on myself? Honestly, I felt like I had been done wrong by so many people at like once like not even being done wrong but like so many stuff has happened to me where it's just like I've been there for people I've been filling people's cups without mine getting filled up and it makes no sense whatsoever but that was legit what was happening and I was like you know like I can't keep doing that you know like I have to start being there for myself because if I don't nobody else is gonna do it for me so that's basically how I got into it just multiple situations happened to me that just made me realize you know like start distancing yourself and start prioritizing yourself I mean stop showing up for people because you could be feeling good doing that but when it's not being reciprocated you start to feel a type of way and you can't really feel a type of way in that situation because it's just like you know you didn't have to be there for people all the time like I just started learning how to say no I don't go out all the time I start saying no to certain things I stop being a yes man romanticizing my life which is something I've started doing recently because it don't have to be nowhere extravagant I go to Tim Hortons pick up a nice coffee or a coffee go to the bookstore or a library get a book and read in nature and just value that moment I get myself flowers and stuff just basically I romanticize my life and I love that for me because this is a new era, you know, like I love this era for me and I, I feel like it's important for me to, I felt like it was important for me to be there for myself because if I don't, nobody else will. The same people that I'm going above and beyond for are not gonna always understand my situation, not gonna understand what I go through. So I just decided to just focus on myself. Like it's me against the world, world realistically, like maybe not in every situation and there was a time where like I ghosted everybody like I literally got off social media for like months and just focused on myself and those be the happiest times I have I don't know if that answered your question cuz I don't really know how to answer that question but I would just say like realizing that you own I, only, I realize that I only have myself so I have to take care of myself and make myself feel good and look good for me somebody said what's the worst thing you ever done um worst thing I've ever done. Summer of 2021. Um I went out of my house. It was like three in the morning or four in the morning with my friend and I didn't tell nobody. And 
obviously my mom found out and she took my phone away but yeah that's the worst thing i've ever done i don't really be doing bad things for real i really be chilling like i don't do anything i don't care to do anything the bonnet had to come off it was bothering me this is not even a tutorial so if y'all want a tutorial let me know like a in detail of what i do with my makeup this is kind of just like an overview like i don't really show you the products i use or tell you the products i use so let me know the next question is for my girl vina she's also on youtube i'm i'll put her channel down below go subscribe to her because she coming with good content like her first video i was hooked already like i'm so excited to watch my girl grow and yes i do know her in real life that is my baby period and she's doing her thing like period so go subscribe but she asked me what would you do besides doing youtube um if youtube didn't work out i'd be an entrepreneur i love anything business related like anything business related whatsoever i love i'm just automatically hooked or i'd be a nurse in the medical field because i also like helping people the next question is what career path are you choosing to go towards oh well, for college right now i'm doing pn which is practical nurse i want to get a degree in either bachelor of science nursing or a degree in social work i'm not gonna limit myself to just one thing i want to branch out because i love entrepreneurship so that's something i really want to pursue but i would like to have a degree just in case that doesn't work out i have something to go off of but as to never say i will never be a social worker or i would never be a nurse i just right now my goal because i'm very young i could just go keep going 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 not stopping and getting those degrees and then relax later in life that's basically my model so that's why i'm just like you know not following what i really want to do right now i'm just gonna go get that degree and then i'll worry about everything else later to answer your question register nursing or um social work one of my friends said what inspired you to pick up where you left off in terms of youtube um honestly i started seeing a lot of small youtubers like start popping up like even friends people that i follow on instagram like we're mutuals on instagram and we're friends in real life they just decided to start and that that was an inspiration to me because i'm just like yo they're really doing it like why am i so scared because when i had my old channel i never promote myself on my mean i never post nothing but i'm seeing these girls are not afraid and i'm just like yo let me stop being scared because at the end of the day when i become successful the people that are laughing at me are gonna be watching me so why am i really worried but i'm glad i realized it sooner than later i could have started like last year and who knows what would have happened by now but everything happens for a reason and i'm glad like i finally decided to start you know the next question is what is your biggest flex <laughs> I would say my biggest flex is the fact that I don't really need anybody. I'm being so serious. I don't need anybody to live. Like, I be having just as much fun by myself as I am with people, if not even more. Like, I value my alone time, and I'm okay with not being around people 24-7, and I'm okay with not having friends. I, I can survive. Like, I can go out to a dinner by myself and not feel embarrassed. I just, you know, like, I like the fact that anything i want to do i can go do, i can go out and do it by myself even financial wise i make my own money maybe not as much to like pay rent get food whatever but in the sense of like getting my st myself what i want stuff that i like just want for myself i work hard and get my money to go be able to get what i want to get so i'm gonna make it happen regardless that's the kind of person i am like if i want something i'm gonna make it happen like there's no excuses whatsoever that degree that i'm going after in college i'm gonna get it my high school diploma i'm getting that i'm really a miss make it happen type person i really if i want something and i put my mind to it i'm gonna do it and i'll do it without the help of anybody i could do it on my own that's i would say is my biggest flex because you know like we're in a society nowadays where people feel like they need people and that's not the case i'm about to apply my powder so i'm just gonna be right back all right finished setting my face we're gonna move on to the next question <laughs> this question is from one of my closest friends she's like is it najma the best yes najma is the best period that is my gang that is my sister that is my twin somebody said what's your inspiration or who's your inspiration 
see the person that commented this she's my inspiration and i'm not even just saying that like she's dead ass my inspiration this girl is so um hard working like she's in student council like she keeps up high grades and being a teenager and keeping up like 90s or over 90s is just unbelievable because not a lot of people are able to do that you know like this girl it's just she's an inspiration to me and i'm not just saying that again like i'm not just saying that just to say it like dead ass that's how i feel you know like she just she's a hard working person and she inspires me a lot to like you know keep going even when times are difficult because i see that she's doing it so another inspiration also is my auntie like that woman is such a hard working woman like she is here living on her own she has a degree she has a job and she she just she is an inspiration because she really don't need nobody like she's doing it all on her own like and she just inspiring me to do that like you know get my own money and do stuff for myself and not rely on no man or nobody but myself and i'm so grateful that i'm in a country where i can practice that in a young age because back home those opportunities are not there so you know but i'm so glad like i'm being taught from a young age to get my own money i'm glad that i have a job to get my own money even if my parents were wealthy i would still appreciate them sending me to work to get money because if not <laughs> who knows what i'm about to be in the future my auntie's my biggest inspiration and the girl who sent this she's also a very inspirational person in like in my life that i have my blush looking good today all right we're moving on to the next question somebody said what's something you love to do on your free time i love doing makeup 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 is my safe place makeup is like where i get to be creative without any judgment and i get to do it on my face being able to like do art on my face like makeup is just so therapeutic to me like maybe nobody will ever understand this but makeup is so therapeutic oh this highlight is blinding i was gonna tell y'all what it is but i'm gonna get key till the next time i do my makeup i think i will film a whole makeup routine video even if y'all don't ask i'm still gonna do it because per someone asked are you single like now nah, i'm playing but nah yeah i am single i'm very much single i'm focusing on myself and my goals and i know that's very cliche to say but um yeah honestly i'm happy you know like i'm happy where i am in life in general like not every day is all butterflies and rainbows obviously but i am content with how my life is someone asked best advice to give to somebody or favorite advice to give to somebody I would say prioritize yourself because if you don't nobody else will in life like you only have yourself really and truly the people who you don't expect to turn on you might turn on you one day and I'm not wishing this on nobody like god forbid I'm not wishing it on anybody make sure you build a relationship with yourself and keep that relationship with yourself so that in case something happens it won't affect you as much um one of my friends said what motivated you to protect your peace and choose yourself over people now that ties in with one of the questions i answered before at a certain age you come to the realization that not everybody's gonna be there for you that's the realization you come to at a certain age and then you have to start relying on yourself so what motivated me was honestly when i was going through a really depressive episode i was just i was watching a youtube video this one time i was watching michaela amari which is one of my favorite youtubers and she said she said she had she was explaining about something that she went through and how she had to she did a day 44 of ghosting everybody in that video and it just showed me like really you can have just as much fun without people and it's crazy because you grow up thinking that like you know you need people in your life and that's just not the case at all like you don't need nobody but yourself and and i love that 
we're in a day and age where we're all coming to that realization and you know i love that for us i love that for this generation even though this generation is messed up in so many ways there's just certain things that people are coming into realization of. i'm just gonna go ahead and set my face while my face dry off i'm gonna answer this one last question somebody said how do you feel about social media in a whole social media can be good for a lot of things promoting a business promoting a channel promoting anything good in your life you get to post pictures of yourself you get to post your life and what you're doing but on the flip side that has led to these unrealistic as hell beauty standards that these celebrities and famous instagram influencers have set for society and for this generation and now girls feel like they have to get bbls and boob jobs and whatever to look like that and i'm not hating on nobody like i don't care what you do with their body that's your choice so on social media it helps people portray their life as it as a as one thing when it's completely the opposite and then people think just because somebody's life looks extravagant and whatever da, 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 on social media that that's how that they're always happy all the time they're lucky they're happy they're this they're that they don't go through stuff which is so not the case everybody goes through anything and it doesn't matter how much money you have because at the end of the day people's mentals is people's mentals it don't matter how money cannot money cannot stop people from going through things in real life just because somebody has x y and z amount of money don't mean they don't go through stuff they're all human beings just like us but yeah like i was saying social media i feel like it portrays a certain image to somebody's life and that's just not the case at all but it, it could be a good app to like show off your life and you know show off what you're doing your business whatever but then again it leads people to start judging everything somebody does the hate comments on the people's videos is ridiculous i don't understand how another female can go on another female's page and hate and that's something else i also hate about social media is the fact that people love to tear other people down on those apps especially on tiktok especially on tiktok people are brutal on that app so but yeah that's why people are more people can't even post their lives we can't people can't post just anything nowadays because everything is getting criticized and that's what has made social media so toxic it's not the apps it's the people all right y'all so this is the finished makeup look i hope you guys got to know me a little bit more and i hope i answered your questions really good thank you guys so much for watching more to come i hope you have a really good rest of your day or night depending on what time you're watching this i'll see you soon Bye.